Hey, what is going on pros and pros? It's Mr. Lumen HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing Rockstar Juiced and this one is gonna be on the mango. Now before I go any further, this is not to be confused with the Rockstar Bardar Juiced L Mango. So you're probably thinking, well, are they exactly the same drink? Well, you know what? I saw the mango one and I thought, hang on a minute, didn't we have L Mango a while ago? And we did. Uh, and after reading for the ingredients and this and that, Basically, one is full sugar and one's half sugar. This one, the old mango, has 11 grams of sugar. This one has half, which I'll get to in a second. So I can only think this is a half sugar version of the full mango because, again, looking at the ingredients, they've both got mango puree, they've both got apple juice. So I'm not actually sure what difference is. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference between the bar jar and the normal mango is. But regardless, I'll put the link to this video or the link to this one in the description below so you can go watch that as well. So anyways, I got this particular can out of a supermarket. I've had it for a while so I can't remember, but I got it out of a supermarket. And I believe it cost me like 99p actually because it's non-price marked. They can charge what they want. But Rockstar is always generally cheaper than monster stuff in the supermarkets. So I give you guys a full 360 of the can. So like I said, it's almost identical to the L mango flavor over there. We have like the skulls in the background with the mangoes and stuff around the can. We have a bright uh, orange, orangey color Rockstar star. And we have obviously the Rockstar logo in orange as well. And then the juiced in white. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything's all standard and silver, apart from the pool wing, which is a nice shiny black. So looking at the back of the can where we just have all the ingredients and stuff, like I said, we have the half sugar. So we have uh, niacin, vitamin B6, B12, but no panophenic acid. Sugar content is 4.9 grams per 100 ml. So the total can contains 25 grams. So a lot, lot less than what the full sugar L mango has, which is 56 grams. So that's a massive, massive difference there. But uh, whether it will taste the same, I don't know, because I did like the El Mango. It was a really nice, good flavour, so I'm hoping this is nice as well. Uh, reading the other bits and bobs, like I said, lightly carbonated fruit juice and flavour, so exactly the same as the other one. Caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml, so it's bang on the average. Uh, and as it is half sugar, does it contain any sweeteners? Let's have a look. It contains Circlose mm -hmm. and Asula Flame K. And just comparison, I don't think this one has anything because it is full sugar. Uh, Asula Femme K and Sewer Close, so yeah, it's still got, yeah, okay. Uh, same vitamins and everything, yeah, it's weird. Anyways, guys, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup, let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be orange. And the smell and taste, well, yeah, it is going to taste the mangoes. But we'll, I reckon it's just not going to be as maybe as sickly or as sweet, maybe, but we'll have to find out. Don't you dare explode. There we go. Surprise, surprise. Oh, that's a lot of bubbles. Oh my god. That's a lot of bubbles on top. I did pour it from fairly high, but there we go. So the colour is indeed. A kind of orangey colour, although it's definitely a darker, duller orange, not your nice bright orange colour you'd expect, and it is non-see-through, it is cloudy. I said quite a lot of bubbles on the top, I don't know whether that's because I poured it really, really high, but quite a lot of bubbles there, and um, oh, it's actually really strong as well in smell. I really smell the strong mangoes, it's really, really strong. But yeah, not any bubbles on the side though, interestingly. There's a load of fizz on top, but no bubbles on the side whatsoever which is uh yeah, which is interesting not one bubble but anyways guys let's taste some wow guys that is really really nice after drinking that i actually can't remember what the old mango tastes like to be honest with you i think that was probably just even sweeter but to be honest with you this has still got a really really good sweet strong kick to it you wouldn't even think this is the the reduced sugar one. Oh, that's so nice, guys. It straight away reminds me, very similar to Rubicon's mango. Their full sugar mango. Um, I love the Rubicon, I love the Rubicon mango. But this does remind me, very similar of Rubicon's mango. And I'm sure you guys have all tried a kind of Rubicon mango now and then. But this is pretty much just like that. And whether in a blind taste test you'll be able to tell, 
I don't know. But my um, guess this has kind of got Rockstar's own probably a little bit of kick to it. But for the most part, I'm not too sure. It does just taste like a normal mango juice drink. And if you take the labelling off the outside, would you be able to really tell? I don't know. But uh, regardless, it's super nice, super refreshing. Some people might find it a bit too sweet or a bit too sugary or something like that. But, you know, it, it's still less sugar than what the El Mango is. And if you probably drink the two together, so I'd, I'd love to do a blind taste test review on these. But I'd have to, I mean, we're currently on lockdown, don't we? So I can't go out. But um, I'd love to do a blind taste too on them two and see if I can figure out the difference. But regardless, you drink it. You get a good hit of mango flavour. You get that good mango flavour all the way through. And then the aftertaste, it kind of just goes into nothing, which is not a bad thing. But you've just got a solid, really good mango flavour there. Like I said, it's more sweet than syrupy, like the American Fanta type of syrupy. It, it's definitely more on the sweeter side. Um, which again, is not a bad thing, I'm just saying. It's, I generally prefer sweet to syrup because, you know... I'm sure you guys again have tried all the can of American Fanta and they're, you know, they're so syrupy. And, you know, sometimes it's better to have something to be sugar sweet rather than syrup sweet. So even though it's half sugar, it's still fairly sweet for what it is. And, you know, only 23 grams, or was it 23 grams, 25 grams? Uh, 25 grams. That's not bad. You know, seeing as you're going from 60 grams on the other one to this, that's, that's not bad for a really sweet drink to be honest with you. So in reduced sugar terms, for example, like this, then yeah, they've got it correct. They can get it bang on. But apart from that, just a really nice drink. And I'm glad it's reduced sugar because I'll probably drink it a bit more now because I don't fancy drinking 60 grams of sugar, you know, you know, whenever I drink them. So to have this good flavor and the reduced sugar, I say it's a win-win. But yeah, really interesting having a, both of these different flavors. I'd honestly like to know what the actual, difference is but uh, apart from the sugar maybe that is just it but i mean apart from l and barjar I, I really don't know probably i'm going online and looking at some other research but anyways guys it's nice super nice no weird flavors or anything like that throughout just a nice good sweet strong watermelon drink so for that guys get a thumbs up for me so as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all later